Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? Here with my TF2, which is the Trail Finder 2 from RC4 Drive, and I gotta do a little repair on the truck after last week's competition that I attended to uh, at the Dudes Backyard RC Park located in Zingerberg, North Carolina. I think I said that right. It's about two hours and 14 minutes for me, and it's out the outskirts of Raleigh, North Carolina. And I decided to go up there for the competition. You know, not to really, you know, get into the whole competition up, but just go up there and support a good friend of mine and, uh, you know, make my presence there and stuff. So he had a C1 class and a C2. I took out, you know, the Trail Finder and my Axial SCX10 2 to run. And so I got onto the C1 class with the TF2 there. And I had a few issues, actually two issues. Uh, the first issue was with my two-speed transmission. Uh, the low gear was not uh, engaging right. I fixed that issue. It was just the shift uh, link, which was a little loose on there. So I got that fixed. And then within about three gates in of the trail, I heard a little chink, 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 chink. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I know what that is. Boom. Broken leaf springs, my friends. That really blows. <laughs> and I did not have a backup set with me, so pretty much my run didn't even really start. I didn't really get into all the good stuff until that happened. But this is also my kind of fault for this right here. All right, so a few months ago, I actually broke the driver's side leaf spring, the main one. And I changed it out, but the thing I did not do, I did not change out the passenger side. And usually, if you snap a leaf, it's good to replace both of the leaves at the same time. Just like on your car, uh, when you change out your brakes, if you have ABS brakes, you know, brakes on the front, brakes on the back, you're usually supposed to change all four of the brakes out just so, you know, for wear issues and stuff like that. Well, I didn't do it on the TF2. I didn't change out the leaf there, the old leaf. So, as you see, it broke. Now, another reason I'm thinking why I'm breaking leaves, because this is my second set that I have broke, and I'm thinking one thing. Now, on the TF2, I do have the O-ring mod. Now, if you don't know what the O-ring mod is, you have a total of eight little O-rings that are on your axles here. So if I can get a zoom up close of it, show you. Let's bring in some light source here. So you got two little rubber O-rings, two on the bottom of the leaf and two on top. This actually creates more flex for the TF2, all right? Which is a great mod and it's a very cheap mod to do. But I'm also thinking that this mod has a downside on it, all right? So here's my thinking of it. All right, so you got a small little gap. You see that? You got a small little gap there, right? So I'm thinking it's weakening the metal right there. You know when you take like a piece of wire and you bend it a few times, eventually that wire is gonna snap, it's gonna break. I'm thinking that's what's happening. So, let me get some light up here so we can see. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, I'm thinking that in the metal, it's getting very weak, and it's why it's breaking. And it's always breaking right here at the screw holes. So, I'm thinking with this, it's causing it to happen. Plus, also, with that little bit of space right there, it's allowing water and moisture to collect up in there and rusting these things out and breaking them. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and do away with the O-ring mod and run two leaves, not just three, and run two. See how that works and uh, test it out a little bit and uh, see if I'm gonna like it or not. And maybe if I don't, I'll have to look at another means of getting a little bit of flex out of it. I might even possibly like it without all the flex and stuff and drive it like a real average everyday vehicle. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing, fixing this little issue. So, all right, 
So I got my work cut out, but the truck looks so fantastic. It's definitely got some aging to it. Love it. I did the uh, painted the hood the other day and uh, they came out pretty nice. Interior, a little Coke bottle there. Got Fred, Fred the old man driving. Back here, all my little scale stuff. Look, Bass Pro Shop, uh, little toolbox. There's a rigid toolbox right there. If you guys can see that, we'll bring it to light. <sighs> rigid. Now these are all like 3D printed parts that I got from a buddy of mine, little toolbox, Home Depot on it. Just extremely cool rig, really love it. It's a lot of fun. All right, my friends, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into uh, changing out these leaf springs so I can get the vehicle running, so I can go out and crawl. All right, so later.